it looks like the launch of Starship might be much closer than many of us thought. I for one was expecting a launch in the second half of the month at the earliest, but somewhat unexpectedly a lot has happened in the last 24 hours. So I wanted to give you all a heads up and a summary of what has been a crazy night, a crazy morning and day. It all seems to have begun yesterday with the equally unexpected test of Booster 7 which got filled up almost to its entirety with propellant. And next thing we know, today morning we woke up to the news that the website Next Spaceflight has Starship's first orbital flight scheduled for the 10th of April, that is, next Monday. For those of you who don't know, Next Spaceflight is a widely known website in the space community dedicated to providing news, updates and information about upcoming space launches and events and they are not affiliated with any specific space agency or company. And while uh, this announcement alone gave a lot to talk about on Twitter, it's certainly promising, but the main counter argument seems to be the fact that the launch license has not yet been issued, although that also is not as definitive as it looks. In fact, there may be even evidence of its issuing being rather imminent, but we will get to that in a minute, because the next piece of evidence, let's put it that way, Speaking for a possible launch attempt next week is the marine notice that has been published for the orbital test flight of Starship, with the hazard zone being nicely illustrated here in the My Radar app. A third piece of evidence, and perhaps the most important of them all, is the FAA Operations Plan Advisory that was also released today, according to which SpaceX is targeting next Monday, the 10th of April, for a Starship launch attempt no earlier than 8.10 a.m. Now, as I said earlier, there is also some skepticism regarding the presumed launch date, which we all have the right to, since after all, we've been waiting for the launch to happen within the next two weeks since 2021. Apart from that, the biggest contributions to this skepticism are the recent words of Elon Musk, who stated that the launch might not be days away, but hopefully weeks. A second reason, and probably the biggest one, as I also mentioned earlier, is the absence of the launch license by the FAA. However, the wait seems to be coming to an end, first due to the FAA Operations Plan Advisory, released today and secondly due to reports of various unofficial sources. Washington Post reporter Christian Davenport being the one that struck me the most, he said in a tweet that unless there is an unforeseen problem, SpaceX should have the launch license for the Starship debut launch by April 14th or thereabouts, barring any last minute checks that could cause delays. Of course, this goes against the abundantly mentioned launch date on Monday the 10th, but yet again, the 14th would be Friday, so still next week. That being said, we are dealing with a first test launch. We all know how it is, delays, scraps, too much wind, 23 engines fail to start. Nothing is for sure. Nonetheless, SpaceX, even though they have not made any official announcement yet, let's see what today still has in store for us, seems to be behaving as if the launch were to take place rather soon. The chopsticks have been lowered, ready to hoist Starship onto Booster 7, which also means that we could also see another full wet dress rehearsal in the coming days. So to summarize, it looks like this is going to be the last week where you can be 100% sure that Starship is not launching. From next Monday onward, granted the launch license has arrived, on paper, the launch could happen any day. So I don't know what your plans for the coming weeks are, but I suggest you cancel them all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.